Caitlin, is that you? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna try to vlog today. I've got a lot to do today, and it's already 11 o'clock, and I leave here to go to bingo at 3. So, we're gonna do what we can try to do. I've already got up this morning, and we've got some leftover coffee. This is the coffee that I have made already. It's the Coffee Mate iced coffee. It's good, but I really just need, ooh, I know what I can do. I can add, use the Ness Gold Espresso Intense, just to kind of give me a little bit more kick, because I need it this morning. Charlie wants me to make some PB2 things. It's got unsweetened applesauce, coconut, and peanut butter powder. I don't know. I'm just waiting on him to give me the go-ahead to make it. Uh, also, new news. If you guys don't follow me on TikTok, you wouldn't know. We are going to New York, and I am super excited about that. We're going at the end of the month. We're going from the 28th to the 2nd. And I'm actually really excited. We've never been to New York. New York's not really our vibe, but I got invited to do some TikTok shop workshops. Um, and I'm really excited about that. It is such an honor to get invited to stuff like that, honestly, because I never thought I'd be able to travel or anything like that. Oh my gosh, who is she being a little risque? I'm not gonna leave the house like this, don't worry. Um, so, I started a load of laundry, A++ for Caitlin. She started out on a good note. We gave Lily her medicine. Guys, if you guys don't follow me on TikTok, you wouldn't know <sighs> the drama with Lily. So, um, Lily is my sugar glider. I have two of them, Bubbles and Lily, and I absolutely love them to death. We've had them for about eight years and uh they were rescues so i rescued them when they were probably about a year or two old i rescued bubbles first and then i rescued lily after lily is older than bubbles i do know for a fact only because of the person who had her before knew had gotten her when she was like a little joey so um and also bubbles was gotten as a little joey sorry um, they are getting a little up there in age, and then exactly two years ago, uh, next month, Lily had to get some of her tail amputated because she started self-mutilating, or at the time, we didn't think it was self-mutilation. We thought that maybe, um, she got her, um, tail stuck in, like, something in the cage, so I did a redo of her cage. We did new, like... Um, sensory toys for her and we revamped the cage well two years later November of 2024 I wake up last week and she has the same thing happen to her the exact same thing the top of her tail is desheathed she has a slit below it I freak out because uh, I just don't want her to have to go through surgery again so uh, we watched it. I started giving her antibiotics because at first it just looked like maybe the fur had just come off of it. But then a couple of days later we noticed the slit. And then I was like, yeah, we have to go to the vet. And then so they finally and miraculously by miracle, thank you Jesus, um, had a cancellation. So we, Charlie took her and then that day he was like, yeah, we need to get this taken care of ASAP. I have a snake on the table already with an injured tail. We're going to amputate it. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. But it worries me because this happened two years ago. I was like, yes, sir. I understand. He was hinting at the, the, um, thing of let's just not put her through surgery. Um, and let's, you know, think of that's not happening. I said, what are my options, sir? He said, we could amputate just the part that is desheathed and we can fix up her little um, thing. They did that first um, because I was like, that sounds good. He calls me back and he's like, oh, she's already ripped out the stitches. So after surgery, she had fresh stitches and they didn't have anything to give her to distract her. So, cause we didn't know she was having surgery. So she took the stitches out of her tail. Oh, poor baby. So he was like, I don't think this is going to work. I said, what is my other option? And he said, let's just amputate the whole tail. She has a 50% chance of recovering with her tail amputated. She had a 20% chance of recovery with just the tip amputated. I did not know this at first or I would have just been like, let's go ahead and dock her tail. Let's just go ahead and take it. 
Uh, but I didn't know this. I didn't, I didn't know that that was an option. Anyway, we're rambling. Lily is good. Bubbles is good. We are post-op day Friday, Saturday, Sunday, four. We are post-op day four. So, uh, yeah, next week we are going to New York. So, we have to do a lot of stuff before next week comes. This is already five minutes long and I'm just in my kitchen. All right, let's go. I got to do my weekly meds or I will be cuckoo crazy by the end of this week. I've got you sitting on top of my magnesium. Uh, we are in the bathroom. We are doing my meds. Uh, if you don't know, uh, I do take a lot of meds for mental health. And I also recently, long story short, I'm not going to go into much detail, but I cannot garden for a year. And... Um, that has been really hard because my husband and I, Charlie, have discovered how much gardening has really helped me um, as far as my mental health and honestly coping with daily life. I have high anxiety, high stress, um, and I've had a stress-induced stroke, so like, I have to be careful with how much stress I put myself under because I'm susceptible as we're putting in the daily aspirin um we're I'm very susceptible to have another stress and stroke sorry we've already lost our short-term memory we don't need to lose anything else so I was talking to my doctor I um I have you sitting on my magnesium and uh she told me to start taking magnesium to see if that would help as well as she has upped some of my anxiety meds uh so Hopefully, we, we're we good to go. But I have taken the dogs out already, made my coffee. What else have I done this morning? I feel like I've been really productive today already. And it's, well, already. And it's, I don't get up super early. That's another thing about me. Like, I used to be an early bird, but I thrive better at night. Um, I am, ever since I started traveling to California and have switched to their kind of time zone, every person that I work with through TikTok is mostly in uh, California. So, I'm really on California time, living in the East Coast, and if you don't know, that's three hours difference. So, Charlie, sometimes he'll be like, Caitlin. Hey, this California time thing ain't gonna, ain't gonna work for us, girlfriend, because you crazy at 9 o'clock. At 9 o'clock, you're ready to go. 9 o'clock p.m., and I'm ready to hit the hay. But, listen, it's gonna be good. Going to New York, we're not switching time zones, so we should not have any jet lag, or we shouldn't be going crazy schedules again. But I'm just rambling at this point, but I miss doing vlogs, and I know a lot of people like my daily vlogs. And like listening to me rant, we're going in with our iron supplement now. If you guys have low iron, um, try an iron supplement. Of course, ask your doctor because I didn't know for the longest time that I had low iron. So, we're not trying to get a blood transfusion because that sounds painful. All right. I love you guys. I will uh, talk to you guys when I do my next task. I don't even know what it's going to be. All right, so I'm now in the living room. I'm going to pick up all of the dog toys and I'm gonna start a YouTube video on the TV and vacuum this nasty floor. I also um, need to try to clean up the living room a little bit. We have all of this over here, guys, is stuff that's going to our studio. And I need to go by at some point before we leave on our trip. Oh my gosh, that kitchen table, a disaster. Don't get me started on the bench either. Like, it is, oh my gosh. My house is a wreck. Like, it is a total disaster. But I have a feeling once that we're able to get this stuff into the studio, that we'll be able to clear out some stuff and declutter in the house. Because right now, we have stuff in totes going to the studio. Like, the clothing stuff going to the studio. And, oh, we're buying stuff for the studio. It is just studio, studio, studio. It's all about the studio. So, yeah. I'm going to pick up all of the toys and I'm just going to try to pick up around the house. I bought this carpet stuff off of TikTok shop that I want to try. Um, it's pumpkin spice R and W co carpet and upholstery deodorizer powder. So we're going to try it in the carpet. I hope it, I'm going to let the dogs out while I do this because I don't want them like, oh, it doesn't have, oh. It doesn't have anything safe for children and pets. 
but it says keep out of reach of children and pets. So is it safe for them or is it not? I'll just let them outside just in case while I do this. All right, I'm gonna go vacuum, bye. Hey, pumpkin. All right, I'm cleaning out my book bag. Oh shoot, from the last time I went on a trip and we vacuumed, we uh, swept the kitchen. This is just a trash bag that I've made from finding stuff around the house. Uh, napkins, that was probably for Charlie. Any receipts that I have I'll keep for taxes. Yup. Yup, we need to keep that. Um, I just use, to, whenever we travel most of the time, I just use a Fair Bradley bag. This one, whenever I got it, like two days later, I didn't even shove the pocket full. But two days later, it started breaking, and I reached out to uh, Vera Bradley. They just sent me a completely new bag, and um, I didn't want a brand like another new bag. I wanted to see if I could just take this, like send it back to them, and then fix it. So instead of just throwing this one out, I'm just gonna use it until. But it was like ripped at the seam, so. But I paid a lot of money for this bag when it first came out, but I absolutely love it. It's black and just plain, and I like that. Also, we have a little tripod for my camera, so let me go ahead and set you up on that. Okay, I'm still sitting at the kitchen table, don't judge. Um, but I was ordering me some more camera batteries, and um, Charlie has been wanting these Ariat shoes. Um, they're kind of like Hey Dudes. And I actually, I'm going to show you a picture of them. I saw them in the save later and our anniversary is coming up and we got married on Halloween and we'll be out of town. But I think these will come before and I'm going to give them to him. What do we think? He's been wanting these ever since we went to Tumblr Invasion. We saw a pair and they didn't have them in his size. So I did just buy them. They were a little expensive, but, um... I think he'll really like them. I, I think he's worth it. He's worth it for sure. So we got that, a couple of camera batteries, and I got some Halloween nails. I hope they come before we go. Let's see. They're supposed to be here Wednesday, so I can do my nails on Wednesday. They're just like little pumpkins with, um, they're like little long stiletto nails. So I'm really excited about those. Uh, yeah. That's that's it for now. I just wanted to update you and tell you that I got something for Charlie. We love buying stuff for people. I love shopping for people. I love getting people stuff. Um, also, why did I say that? I don't even know. Uh, I'm going to probably go and... Nope, I need to fill the glider stuff with food. So, we'll do that now. I'll show you how I do that. If you know nothing about gliders, you would know they are very needy animals. We love them, but they're just so needy. Um, so what we have is enrichment. Now I stopped doing this. Um, I, I was talking to Charlie, like I don't know why I stopped doing this. And he was like, Caitlin, I honestly think you, for, you just forgot to do it because after I had a wreck a couple of years ago, um, it was, Right after Lily had her surgery, we just stopped doing it. And I, I don't know why. That's not like me. Um, so, we have picked it back up. Also, it gives Lily something extra to do. So, what we have is just a Valentine's Day bowl. You can get these from Dollar and a Quarter Tree. I've just put a bunch of stuff in there that makes noise. Because they love things that they can carry. Things that make noise stuff like that so we have like little easter eggs that they can open which are really cute and then we have these little eyeballs that i get around halloween time because you know i'm a halloween girly they love to carry around bracelets so we have all sorts of bracelets that they can get in and carry around easy to carry for the girls they love 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 to carry those around so we have those we have like little bit rubber duckies these um came from a friend of mine they're like little duckies um so we have like a couple of those in there we have baby rattles to make all kinds of noise and we also have um necklaces that i have cut up because i don't want them to like choke or anything on these so you have to make sure that everything is like safe for them so we also have little links that they can play with so if they like little links we can do that 
They have also these things that they can carry around. And these just like hook on things. They're, they're for babies, but they work for gliders. So, what I do is to keep them enriched, one of their favorite treats are fish sticks. There's no MSG, no preservative, no salt. Good for small pets. High quality pet snack. These are really good um, and high in protein. If you have any animal, the cats even love these. Like, they're a little expensive, but worth it. Um, they're a very nice treat for your animal. Then I have little teeth, and these are like the ones that you used to get whenever you were little at the doctor's office, you know, to put your teeth in. That. So I have 20 of them that I normally fill up with the little fish sticks, and I just dump them all. And then I have these little shot glasses. We got these at the dollar and a quarter tree as well. And what I like to do with these is after one of the little teeth is full, I will dump it in there, and then we'll put a necklace on top so they have to pull out the necklace and then they get the thing and then they can open the little tooth with their hand i just uploaded a video on um tiktok on how they do that in case you're interested but let's get to filling these suckers we have 20 of them to fill and i normally just i'll just show you here's what we normally do we normally just take no what are you doing baby if they smell these, they're going to start coming out of my shirt. So, I normally just take them and I break these into like four sections. That way, they have plenty in their little tooth. So, we got four sections. I will just put one of these down in there. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Drop it in. Put your thing on top of it. I will do all 20 this way. Not all, all 20 don't go in here. No B. All 20 don't go in here, but we spread some throughout the cage. We hide them and they, <laughs> Nova is going crazy. Noby, Noby Coco. All right, I'm gonna fill these up. All right, I have finished filling all of the teeth, the glasses, and we have put everything in here and it is ready for Charlie to give it to them whenever he gets home. All right, we are in the beauty room. It is 2.07. I've got to leave here at like 3.30, so I've got about an hour and a half. I really kind of want to do my lashes. Sore. I've been using these Lash View lashes. Um, they're clusters, and I've just been using random glue that I have laying around the house um, to stick on my lashes. So I think today... I'm just going to use the Bond and Seal from Lash View to put them on. And those normally last like three, four days um, if you don't use an oil-based remover. So I'm going to go ahead and do my lashes. I'm probably going to be making a video on doing my lashes. So um, if you are on my TikTok, make sure that you look for that because I get a lot of questions asked about my lashes all the time and that's where the 411 will be. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys once the lashes are done. We look like this right now, sleepy, tired, not awake. To, to this, pumpkin, they look so much better. I feel so much better and yeah. So, it is now 2.56. I took my time doing the lashes because literally I don't want to clean anymore. <laughs> but um, I am going to find something to wear for the day. Uh, I think I'm going to keep on my comfort sweats because I really like the way the comfort sweats fit and feel. Um, and I'm kind of cold. So, I'm probably just going to put on a t-shirt. Uh, if I can find my frog and toad t-shirt, I think that's what I would like to wear. Um, but yeah, I think that's probably going to be it for this vlog today. I might take you guys with me to bingo, uh, but I'm not 100% sure yet. We'll just see what happens. I'm going to finish the rest of my coffee. I haven't eaten anything today. I think Mama and I are going to do um, some orange chicken and an egg roll. We normally split a meal because 
the hibachi places one thing about the hibachi places is that they give you a lot of food and normally where i cook every night i don't eat lunch or breakfast i know that's terrible but i don't really eat lunch and breakfast that often so we like to split the meal and we're going to bingo together and it's just bonding time my aunt kim will be there i'm just really excited this vlog i feel like has been boring uh let me know in the comments if you like this type of vlog but I haven't really showed you me doing anything, and I feel like that's pretty bad. Bad of me. I'm going to have to do better, okay? Okay. I love you. I'm just going to... I was going to fix my hair, but I honestly think it looks okay. I'll keep the little bows in. Yeah, not much, but it is something. All right, uh, we are letting the puppies out. They're not puppies, they're dogs, but I'm letting them go potty before I leave. I need to get on a t-shirt. It actually feels really good out here, so I might just keep my um might just keep my pants on. My little um a squirrel just jumped into that tree. My sweatpants on and just maybe even just put on a sweatshirt and leave it at that. I say that's a good idea. Or we'll do a t-shirt. I don't know what we're going to do. But I'm going to let the dogs go use the bathroom. And we're going to stay out here for just a second. And then I will probably see you guys in the car. Probably. Alright, we have supper. Me and Mama are splitting orange chicken with rice. And we're going to play some bolingo. Mama, say hi to the vlog. Say hello didn't again. Say hello. No, because I didn't start it. <laughs> She's filling out her papers. My friend surprised me with some pool tabs. I bought some for her a while back and I let her pull and she won some. And guess what she did? She bought me some pool tabs to pull. So I'm going to pull these and let us know. And I'll let you guys know if we win anything from it. It's nighttime. I'm back at home. I only won, I didn't win anything off of the pool tabs that my friend got me. But I ordered, I ordered. I got more pool tabs and I ended up winning 25 bucks. So that's not bad. Um, but I had to get gas after and I'm home and it's 10 o'clock. So I'm going to work a little bit. Then I'm going to turn in and hit the hay. I will see you guys in the next vlog. Till next time, don't forget to like, follow, share, and subscribe. Stay cool and be Bye.